Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Ark the Lad 2. In the last episode, we met Gruga as he was being attacked by some unknown assailants. And now we are going. I'm, I went to Training Rock, and yes, you can still pick up those two items. It's a cure all and a poisoner, which is a poisoner, I'm not exactly sure what it is. But, anyways, we gotta uh, head over. I'm gonna actually. Uh, wait until we have uh, another party member to even try to attack uh, tackle that uh, that place because there's like six monsters against one Shantae pretty sure she's gonna lose so anyways um what we need to do here uh, after talking with Grunga and he's kind of told us that he's not really Alina's dad real dad uh, let's talk to the innkeep yes we did Yes, we did. Yeah, he ran off without telling us. And Gruga came from Brachia uh, five years ago, the War of Independence. Oh, they were trying to free themselves from Nidel. Oh, he was one of the leaders of the uprising. Yeah, maybe we can help him. Yeah, you know, he did help you a lot. Anyways, we talked to him. Let's talk again. Uh, maybe later. So, we talked to him. And here's Gruga, but let's talk to... Yes. You are a nice... Uh, you are a nice girl. I'm glad I wasn't dead. Well, I hope everyone says that. Yeah, maybe I can get you a toy or something. Yeah. Thank you. You know, she can hear you. She can hear you! You know, her, her hearing is so much... is supposed to be really good. Alright, so we talk with Gruga. And let's see, let's rest up. The next day. Yeah. Well, it's, that's cool. You know what I like about this game? I like the fact that... Uh, yeah, don't touch that rubber ducky. But I like the fact that, like... I don't know. I like the main characters. They talk and have personality. Sometimes, you know, you play... You play, uh, you know, games where the, you have a silent uh, protagonist. It's kind of kind of weird. Dad's so strong, he can take care of himself. Yeah, he is a pretty buff fellow. Anyways, let's go Let's go cheer Gruga on in the arena. As the tournament is underway. Yay for Gruga! Is he here? Oh, here he is. Hey, Gruga, what's happening? Thank you. I must win this tournament, so any advantage is good. Yeah, you're really, you're really, why? Why do you need to win so bad? Gruga smash! Gruga crush. But yeah, Gruga's a pretty cool guy. He's a very good character. Everyone's favorite announcer, Catch Mama Man. Oh, it's Gruga versus some guy. He's put the hurt on Bagus of Saribon. The bruiser of the heart, Gruga of Brachia. My muscles pulsate. Nidel Jester the Molester. Oh, not the best nickname, but all right. It could strike fear in the heart of uh, the weak. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, we're, look at this. We're getting like play by play commentary. Oh, look at Buddha. He's, he, he's not even using his axe like he was, like he was before. Look at him go. Oh, man. He's kicking the face of that dude. He's just using magic. What is that magic? Wow, he is going all out. Oh, look at Kuga go. And he's dead. Nice job, Gruga. I thought I was gonna actually going to have to fight that battle. He did it. He's, I think he's on into the finals. He's gonna need to rest up, though. I mean, after taking a beating with all that, uh, with all that spells and stuff. I must win this tournament. No, I must win the tournament for a leaner. Oh, you're gonna try to restore his sight. That's nice. Oh, yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, you can tell her you're not her real dad. That's what Elena needs. Ruga, he, uh, he's a nice guy. He's a big giant man with a gentle soul. How nice. With a nice, caring heart. So that's it. After watching the arena, we can go to the inn and take another nap. Personally, I don't think that he should charge me again. But he will. Listen, Gruga, you're gonna do it. Nothing, never mind. Listen. Listen. Alright, let's rest up. Yeah, he, he's, he's, uh, I'm concerned about him too. Because, uh, you know. I don't want him, uh, losing his, his stinking mind over this. I mean, there's a chance he could lose. I mean, he probably won't, but... But, uh, yeah, Gruga, you know, he's a tortured fellow. Like, I wonder what he, what happened that he did, like, his... Yeah, I wonder, like, uh, you know, he... He, obviously, there was a rebellion back in the day. Maybe uh, that's what happened. Like, he killed off his... Her parents in the rebellion or something. Or, uh, I don't know how he made her blind. That's another story. I don't even know. She obviously probably wasn't born blind. And as you can see, less people are in here. But yeah, Galburn. Yeah, I remember Galburn. Yeah, he was the leader in the Brachia Revolution. And I, apparently those guys became their own little country or whatever. Alright, I guess we're just gonna leave you alone, Kruga. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Exciting richest tournament around. No one else knows blah blah blah. And blah 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 blah. Let's hear it for the contestants this year. They all did good, but they're gonna be all losers. Alright. I've had a look in the holding pen. Oh, wow, oh, I get you like a prison gun. This is the last battle, the final battle of the tournament. Gruga versus Calburn. The semi-finalist stuffing out the jester. Gruga Brachia! 
Ugo is the leader of Rocky Push for Independence. There be poo in my pantaloons. Nice. Don't cry him a river just yet, because he's decimating all opponents of war. The master hunter Galburn! Oh, he's a hunter! Interesting. I'm sure that Galburn is an our hero. Yeah. Let's get this party started! So it's Gruga versus Galburn. There you go, get right in there. Yeah, he is going all out. You know, it's a shame Gruga doesn't have his own magic. Oh, dude, he's got a breath attack. charge for ya. He's got more magic than you know what to do with. Uh oh. He just keeps wailing at poor Bruga. He's immobilized. Oh man, another Bruga charge, it's like three of them. Oh man, he's destroying the hell out of him. And he brought the giant economy size he can't do that. Oh my god, he's tearing him a new a-hole. Wow, Bruga destroyed him. Wow, nicely done. Yeah, he pulled strength in somewhere. Congratulations. And he earned a hundred thousand gold. That should be enough money to help his daughter. Or one hundred gauze, it's called in this game. Whatever. Gold gauze. Nicely done, Gruga. Now I can use that to take Alina to the doctor. Yeah. You know, Alina might not love you because you lied to her about you being her dad. I cannot deny that any longer. I have used Alina to soothe my guilt. Now I must face what must be done and before we move on, we both must. Oh, Kruga. You feel bad for him, don't you, people? The poor guy. So now we have to head back to the inn. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. You are... Oh! What the hell happened here? Men in black swarmed and took Elena. This is not good. I should get Elena at any cost. Let's help him out. Elena! Oh, there's a note there. Can I walk or something? Or are you just gonna. It makes no sense. Alright, there's a... Yeah, it doesn't make any... Yeah, what kind of person would do this? Alright, look at this note. A ransom note. If you want to save your girl, come to the vacant house outside of town. She has been kidnapped. Yeah, let's, let's team up. Now we have... We have the Brockian Madman on our side. And yeah, the uh, innkeepers back up. But yeah, look, they totally wrecked this whole place. 
They even stole the rubber ducky. What is that all about? Anyways, we're going to head over to the <clears throat> the vacant house on the edge of town. On the edge of the island. But yeah, now we we officially have Gruga in our party. Can I look at him or what? Why is circle not working? And yeah, so... He's a massive man. With his wall pick. So let's head off. Let's haul it off to save Elena. But first, we're gonna head back to Training Rock and pick up those other two items. Plus, I can show off some new enemies. We'll get a little training in before we beat the shit out of whoever took Elena. And here we have to fight some firebirds and wild hemojis. <laughs> You're gonna wish you didn't do that. He's got two axes! There you go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about, uh... Look at him go! He's tearing up the enemy, the enemy like no one's business. I love it. I'm glad I didn't move over to where they could have hit me. And I don't think in this game the emojis can actually turn us into emojis. I could be wrong. Face the wrath of Gruga's axe. Eat it is what he's trying to tell you. Level up. Look at him go. I just love it. Let's cure. There you go. Now he's going to start healing himself a little bit. Man, Gruga just rips things apart. He shows him why he rebelled against the Brachian or whatever was going on. But look at that, we picked up a herb. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh no, our inventory is full. Not cool. Uh... I'll just keep using them, I don't care. I really gotta get rid of some of the crap in here, huh? Alright, we just used up all the herbs and picked up some space. To pick up this item, which is an arsenic mask, that's not the same thing as a poison. Alright, picked up that item, and this item over here. So an arsenic mask. These masks are actually, you can equip them on, uh, on, um, nope, I don't want to drop that. You can equip them on, uh, wow, their attack power is shit. But you can equip it on, uh, various monsters that you come around towards, uh, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to stop the episode here. In the next episode, we will go see, uh, the vacant house at the edge of town and save Elena. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye bye